Hi, and welcome to What the Kids Be Saying. I am your host, Esther Brunat, and what the kids be saying is your source of behind the curve pop culture knowledge straight from my high school teacher's classroom. Uh, uh, uh. And on today's episode, we'll be talking about how to catch a Gen Z in the comments. So, first of all, what you need to know about catching a Gen Z in the comments is they do not like to use capital letters. So no caps. Now, this is not to be confused with the term no cap, which means I'm not lying or please take me seriously. This is more like no capital letters. They lowercase their eyes. They don't start their sentences with, it's a, it's a whole thing. Okay, number two is what I like to call SpongeBob emphasis. So you will see them a lot with these capital letters in the wrong places. So you have one version where they do not like to use capital letters appropriately, and then they like to use capital letters where capital letters are not necessary at all. And I believe this comes from a Sp SpongeBob or a SpongeBob meme or something like that. Number three is using the star emoji for emphasis. So in lieu of doing SpongeBob letter emphasis, you could also put the word that you're trying to emphasis and put the star emojis next to it. Also a way to catch the Gen Z in the comments. You can also catch a Gen Z in the comments when they use just the word I and then a dash. <clears throat> this basically means I I have no words. That's what it means. I have no words. But instead of saying I have no words, you just say I and leave the dash. And that's implied that you did not finish the sentence because you just can't bring together the, the all of it. Okay? <laughs> and we have I hate it here. So this is a term that the kids use when something happens that did not go in their favor. They just say... I hate it here. Like one of my students asking me why a quiz brought her grade down so much and I explain it to her mathematically with my brilliant grades video. And they go, I hate it here. <laughs> you can also, they're starting to flip that on its head like they like to do with all the trends and say, I love it here. So when something exciting, they're like, I love it here. <laughs> uh, we love that. And last but not least, you will definitely see the crying, laughing emoji in the comments still, but we're shifting away from that, or Gen Z is shifting away from that, and um, shifting away from the LOL that us millennials invented, created, changed the game with. Uh, but yeah, the laughing, crying, laughing emoji is not it. It's still used, but um, find a better way to laugh online is basically what they're saying. <laughs> That does it for this week's episode of What the Kids Be Saying. I hope you enjoyed that. And of course, I will keep the episodes coming. You should like, comment, subscribe, share, tell all your friends, tell your best friends, tell your mommies, your aunties, your best friend, sister, grandma, that What the Kids Be Saying is here to help you keep up with Gen Z. I keep up with Gen Z, so you don't have to. And as usual, stay here, friends.